everybody, this is Frykx. Uh This is part 5 of the multi-controller tutorial. Uh, this, is, this part is going to be about touch, and um, this could be long, and I hope to get it done fairly quickly. So, uh, I'm going to start right now. No long intro. That was basically as long as my other intros. Kind of relevant. Okay, start by creating a group of events called touch and make sure it is not active when the frame starts. Um, actually, you're going to want to get some active objects and basically just beat this up. I'm just going to pause this and get them over here. Okay, I got these items. Uh, basically, I'm just going to show you. These are uh, trapezoids. In uh, each direction, you can. You don't have to make them trapezoids. They can just be uh, squares. This is just an icon. I have a pushed direction. That's just the opposite direction. Um, and I have two buttons, which also have a pushed animation or direction. Okay, now into the programming create a new condition, the mouse is over an object, no, um, the mouse is, uh, here it is, over, actually I'm gonna change that, basically whichever the longer side is, f uh, from short to long, Basically, if this was an arrow, it's pointing in the opposite direction. Um, that would have been easier if I just said that. And insert, uh, repeat while mouse, whatever that is. Um, repeat left mouse, click. And it's going to be set this to zero. And do that for all four directions. Okay, now, um, drag this, make sure both of these are negate, or, and uh, do this for all the directions. This will be set counter to eight. Now for the buttons. Uh, the keyboard. No, it's the mouse. Uh, and then to prevent this from going kind of crazy, and to get the same kind of effect you have from the joystick. Uh, Click on that. Uh, now set this counter to one. And I have this uh, set up like uh, sort of an Xbox controller sort of thing. You can just drag this down, mouse pointers over the uh, button. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this done 
a little bit faster if I am not talking. That is why. Uh, uh, that should be it for the touch. Now, if you want to have these, oh, one more thing. You're going to notice no matter what, the icons will appear. So just uh, do always, I'm not sure if you have to always, but insert limit conditions uh, only one, whatever. Um, and for this, make group zero invisible. Oh. I also added all of these to group zero. These you don't have to because they you should have them invisible at start unless you want a uh, square like that. Um, if you want that, that is your choice. Now for these you're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Uh, so the conditions and uh, wait, did I, oops, um, you may not have to do these if they're invis invisible by default, but I like to do it anyway. That should conclude it for this tutorial part, whatever it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, you, f you can feel, f feel free to subscribe. And if you dislike the video, please leave a comment to uh, tell me what do so I can improve for next time. Uh, bye.